Welcome back to the next Shure Whiteboard Sessions, where today we're going to cover what's happening to UHF. So we described in a previous session why the UHF bands are the preferred choice for, uh, for professional users. And this again is why the continuous erosion and auctioning of the so-called UHF bands is actually proving to be quite a headache for professional users. So let me illustrate here on this graph what's actually happening and um, hopefully try and make it make it a little bit more sense. To best understand why the UHF bands are under continuous threats, we don't have to look much further than the mobile telephone. All of us own one of these devices, or two in some cases, and again, I think one could argue that the primary use of these devices today is to stream high-definition video and audio content, be it through Twitter or Facebook or other social medias. We tend to use these devices more today to access the internet or data rather than actually make a telephone call. So, as part of the digital switchover process in the UK, the government auctioned 790 megahertz up to 862 meg and allocated this spectrum for next generation 4G mobile services. Now, the reason this impacted users of wireless microphones, and again, more of the professional uh, side of it, was because this part of spectrum was used very heavily by wireless microphones. So without our industry really doing anything, we went from having access from 470 megahertz up to 862, again shared in between those DTV blocks I mentioned earlier, to now only have an access to 470 megahertz to 790 meg. And that, without really doing anything, just makes coordinating and operating wireless microphones a little bit more difficult. Today, the wheels are actually in motion to clear further parts of the UHF band, again, to mobile network operators because of the growing demand for 4G and high-speed data services. As we speak, the plans are in the UK, and across Europe for that matter, is to clear 694 megahertz and allocate this spectrum also to 4G services. So now, if you look at the graph, over the past uh, you know, handful of years, we as users of professional wireless microphones and in-ears have gone from having access to 470 meg to 862 meg to now only having access, uh, you know, starting around 2019, 2020, to have an access to 470 to 694 megahertz. And again, now if we, if we try and illustrate here why this impacts wireless microphones is that, you know, to give, to give you a real life example, the London Olympics or other big shows uh, across the UK would historically use all of this spectrum to put our wireless microphones in here. And of course, we need this spectrum available to continue to safely operate these wireless microphones. You know, if we recall when we talked about why these you know, devices are important, of course, the wireless microphone is the first piece of equipment in the signal chain. So now when we have to take all of these channels and pack them extra close into this part of spectrum, all it does is it raises the potential for interference, which is why a solid understanding of how to coordinate and deploy wireless microphones is becoming more important by the day. So how do we ensure that we can continue to operate wireless mics in this new environment? Um, or how do we mitigate the risk of potentially increased interference? Well, there's a few things we can do. One would be to subscribe to further videos, uh, which are gonna cover sessions such as uh, antenna choice, antenna placement, proper coordination of wireless systems. Uh, another great resource would be to attend the wireless mastered sessions uh, run by Shure, which are an all day seminar covering a variety of topics uh, on, on wireless, uh, including hands-on experience uh, of deploying these systems. Thank you for watching the Shure UK Whiteboard Sessions. As a reminder, please subscribe to further sessions on losingyourvoice.co.uk. Thank you for joining us for this session of the Shure Whiteboard Sessions. Session of the sessions? Sessions? Yeah, no, but I said it twice.